Hello and welcome to Panorama Data Tech. Today is our fifth lecture of our CSS series. We already have covered a lot of portions. If you haven't watched that, first watch that before coming to this section. So now uh, <coughs> we will see some uh, session. We will see some session. We will see some pseudo selectors. So. First, let's talk about uh, pseudo, what is a pseudo selector. So, let me clarify you what a pseudo selector is. So, I come just come here. I just write something called pseudo selector. All right. So, uh, let me show you in images. <coughs> so, when we talk about something called pseudo selectors, okay. So, you can see that. I uh, just show you wait. Yeah, so I just show you. I want to show you some of the pseudo selector. Pseudo selector means something like this. Okay, when I hover over it, the color I change the color. When I visit on thing, on that thing, the color become different. Uh, don't worry about this. Uh, we will do uh, we will do coding over it. But just understand that this is pseudo selector. And what it will do? I just show you what it will do. Okay, wait. Okay, so what it do is, uh, it just uh, it just gives some uh, some more stylings to uh, to your functionality. Okay, I don't think there is something. Uh, I just do some quotes and then make you understand what it is. All right. So for this, uh, uh, I will create some buttons. Okay. Uh, for uh, first, let me create a button here. Okay. So I got a button. In uh, I just write B button. Okay, I save this. So now you can see that there is a button here. Okay, I just remove this page. There is a button. Okay, now you can see there is nothing here. Now uh, let me give some stylings to it. Let me give some stylings to this button. I'm using this for this. And uh, for this button, what I should do is let me give some uh, let me give a color of black, uh, white. All right, and background color of let me go with red. Okay, if I save this, now you will see that the color becomes C. The color becomes white, and the background become uh, becomes right okay uh, I don't want outline so you can write something called outline none or you can say border none let me uh, let me show you okay if I okay if I write something called outline none okay uh, it's not working so simply write border none because I don't want any border for now okay I'm just uh, I'm just doing some stylings with uh, with a button, okay, so that you can understand how to create a beautiful button layout, okay. And uh, okay, first let me do something, then I I'll show you. Okay, I just give some padding to it. Let me go with the padding from everywhere. I just want to give 20, 12 pixels of padding. So now you can see a big button. Okay, uh, if you decrease or increase, okay, you can uh, you can choose the here also. You just go and inspect. And uh, just click on here, and just click on here. And now you can see or whatever properties I have applied. It uh, you can see here also. You can see four properties. You can see all four properties. So you can do all these things here also. Okay, you just can increase or decrease. Uh, as uh, just here, uh, just increase or decrease, and you can see that okay, it looks good or not. Okay, uh, is it look good? Uh, yeah, it looks good. It looks good. Yeah, I guess yeah, this is much uh, much good. So you can control and you can see that okay where it looks good or not. Okay, so now I just come here. I just write it 8 pixels. For me 8 pixels looks good. If you want increase or decrease the size, you can uh, control here also. Okay, uh, if you want to change the color, you can change here also. 
you can see that okay i'm not it's not looking good for me okay i just can control this color ah, it looks good for now it looks good for now whatever color you think is good so, okay you can see that it looks good for you okay you can choose this color okay you can choose this color so you can control your colors here from color code from here also okay this is one of the way of doing all these things so we already have seen the hex code you can see the hex code of the color hex here so i'm just removing this for now okay i if you want to apply this i just copy this value i come here to my code and instead of red i just apply this color and i save this now you can see this the color has been applied all right the uh, the button looks much much better now okay so if i want uh, you can write something called text uh text uh, transform and i can go with capitalize you can see it will capitalize my text button here all right so uh, and see uh, my intention is to make a revision of your whatever you studied till now you can uh, this will create a revision in you okay so if you want you can give margin also we already have seen the margin margin of 22 pixels it will give margin from everywhere so you can see it gives it gives some margin from everywhere okay this doesn't add uh, okay uh, i just create a, a border radius also we already have seen border border radius let's go with 12 pixels okay uh, i think not 12 pixels let me go in inspect here uh 12 pixels is more so i just see here uh I guess this looks much better. Five pixels. You can control. You can increase or decrease. You can play by yourself. Okay. It's just I want to show you all properties that you can apply in this. So I just write five pixels. So this is much more good for now. Okay. This is more than enough for now. If you want any more property, you can uh, you can directly write this. Suppose you want some uh, bold text. So simply write font weight. We already have seen that. and directly write bold if you don't want to write anything okay directly write bold you can see bold text or you can control your with uh, we already have no uh, no about 100 to 900 so if you directly no want to do anything just write 400 okay okay and uh, if you increase this size you just write 700 so 100 to 900 you can move your but as from here all right so leave this i uh, the designing part depends upon you you can design that So now we will see something called pseudo selectors. Okay, we will see something called pseudo selectors. So what a pseudo selector is? So see what I uh, what I will do is I'll just write something called button, and I will write colon hover. Okay, button hover. So when I hover over the button, I want my background color to be let's let's change color to some. Uh, uh, now we have this color. so i go with this color okay i come in my background color will come becomes six and my color becomes black this is my, i'm just writing randomly you can choose by yourself you can control your colors from here also that you don't like you uh, don't like uh, it doesn't look good good you can control here also you can control your button by yourself and now you can see <coughs> now you can see that when you hover over it that that's the meaning of hover hovering over means getting over it okay so you can see that when i hover means when i over it you can see that the color and the background color changing okay you can change the uh, you can change something called, uh, called font size also if you want so i just change my font size to suppose 13 pixels okay so you can see that the difference okay you can see that okay let's save this i think let me go with 3 pixels so that you can see the difference okay you can see that it becomes so little okay so you can control anything from here now you understand what a pseudo selector is so uh, one more thing i want to show you that when i hover over it the cursor is not changing so i want to change the cursor so simply i can write something called cursor pointer okay if i save this for now when i hover over it you can see that the cursor becomes your pointer 
yeah when you click on this something will happen we not we didn't have done we just uh, do some styling part with the button okay now remember earlier when uh, we were something uh, we were at something called uh, uh, w3 schools okay so we have seen a button here there okay i guess remember we have seen something like this type of button i told you that we will we can create that button also so if you want that color i just that okay you can do that okay just go and that okay just go and inspect all right just choose this value and now just come here okay and just click on this so now you can see that the background color is this color so just copy this color this is a way of doing okay if you want to clone anything just copy this color just come here instead of instead of this color just put that color now if you come here you can see the same color is applied in this also okay uh, you can control your size or everything okay this is just for a demonstration purpose that how you can do all these things so you can what you can see this uh, when i hover over it the color becomes little darker you can see the background color when you hover over it you can see button link widget everything is there so when you hover over it, it becomes a little darker so you can control that also you just control that we have come here and just for all, uh, it's, it's, you can see is the uh, a uh, little darker when you go below okay so you can just try and just uh, just come here okay uh, leave this okay i'll just take this color put here and uh, just you become uh, just make it little darker okay now you can see that and i guess i remove the color for now okay now you can see that that becomes little darker if you want uh, less darker you can control by yourself and you can play with your with your choice okay whatever you want you can play with your choice okay you can see now yeah it looks good now you can see the same thing is happening there also and the same thing is happening here also so you can play with your button you can play with your links everything you can do So you understand how a hover ka, uh, hover works. All right. So uh, let me create a link here. Okay, I guess uh, button is done. So let me create a link. We already know about creating a link A H R E F, and uh, we can give anything. If you don't want to go anywhere, you just simply write hash. If you don't want to go anywhere, okay. so uh, uh, here uh, uh, you can write something called go to google or wherever you want you just write go to google okay and if i save this you can see a link go to google when you click on this link you will go to google but you you won't go anywhere you can see when i click on this i won't go anywhere because i haven't given any address to it okay for now i just give some styling to it okay so a so i simply write a first uh, let me uh, give something called text decoration none we already know text decoration none so that that underline will move okay i just want to remove that underline all right and uh, if you want something more font size you can write font size uh 33 pixels that's up to you okay you just choose yourself okay now it looks big uh, go and uh, you can write something called text transform capitalize all right so now you can see go to google if you clear hover over it it go directly it becomes a cursor pointer so now we already know about the hover so if i write something uh, if you want you can give some color also color as uh, let's go with uh, black now you can see black color over it or you can you can choose yourself okay it's just your choice if you don't want you just remove all this for now uh, i just write something l a hover 
okay if i hover over it so let me go with something called background color okay i just give some background color okay so that i can differentiate the thing so when i hover over it okay you can see that the background color is changing okay you can give margin padding uh, whatever you want you can give it by yourself okay so you can see now all right so <clears throat> let me create a let me create a link for you okay i just write a uh, google link for you Okay, I just take this link for now. Target is equal to underscore blank. Remember, this will move to you the next page. <coughs> We already have seen all these things. For now, ah, uh, all right. What is the problem? A, all right. I didn't have closed this. All right. Okay. So now, ah, uh, you can see this. Okay, I just remove this page for now. Okay, now you can see that when I come here. Okay, when I click on this, I move to Google page. Okay. So uh, what should I do is, uh, we already know H R E F everything. Uh, it looks good. So uh, I just write something called A visited. You will understand what I am writing. Okay. So visited means when. Uh, okay. Let me write something called color green yellow. Okay, so now you can see that the color becomes green yellow. So you can't really differentiate the things, but I should write something called like this. Okay, and I change the address for now. I go for with something called uh, let's go with Facebook. Okay, I'm just taking this address for Facebook, and instead of this. I just put the address for Facebook. Okay, target is equal to underscore and go to Facebook. I don't want to go Google now. I want to go on Facebook. Now, if I save this, now you can clearly see the difference. Go to Google and go to Facebook. because i haven't went to facebook so it is like this color but i already have visited i already have visited to google so uh, because i already have visited google so it uh, uh, the color becomes yellow green you understood so when uh, when you write something called visited a visited it means when you uh, it will show you that whatever page you have visited okay it will color change the color like this So uh, similarly, if you go just like uh, if I uh, just Google search W three schools, I show you the difference because uh, see uh, it's not showing. But uh, you have seen that uh, when you start, when you click on uh, some websites and when you come again, the color change it changes the color because uh, if they have a visited property that or you already have visited this page. Okay, so if you want to visit again, you can click there. so this is the property of visited okay and uh, you got something called uh, one more property which is called active so i just write something called a active all right and let's go with color something called blue i don't know blue violet all right so now you can see that when i click on this now you just see the difference when i click on this the color blue violet comes okay when i click on this then only the color will come see when i click on this the color will come as blue violet okay you can see this 
so active means that which page is active it's just showing the active scenario okay so this is all about your yeah this is all about something called uh, styling your button and uh, everything and this is all about your pseudo selectors so these are all uh, these all are your pseudo selectors hover visited active there are much more but they are generally you use this much of things only okay if you want to know about more of things things you just uh, just google out or uh, just reach out uh, all the documentation and can read this and in live classes if you have any doubt you can ask all these questions so yeah, i hope you understood everything every sort of thing scenarios that what's going on and how it is working so this is how you can play with your pseudo selectors